this video I'm going to be taking a look at the area of a side 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 triangle. This can be done by using Huron's formula. So over here I've got that all spelled out. Um, if we have a triangle where we know all three sides, all right, then we can use the formula. The area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. a, b, and c being the three sides of the triangle. Your s that is in the formula is half of the sum of the sides. So a plus b plus c and then half of that value. All right, now what this is, if we add up all the sides, that's called the perimeter. If we add up all the sides and then divide it in half, then we have the semi-perimeter. So in this formula, the s is called the semi-perimeter. So it's a relatively simple concept, so we're just going to work out one example. All right, let's suppose you're given something where you're asked to find the area of the triangle, and you are given those three sides. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is calculate this semi-perimeter. Okay, so we might do step one, step two here. So step one, all right, I'm going to add up all the sides and divide by two. So I'm going to do four plus five plus seven and then divide by two and that's going to give me an eight. Okay, if you need to uh, grab a calculator or whatever you can, you should be able to do that type of arithmetic in your head. All right, now step two then um, would be to actually use the formula with the square root in it. So my s value is 8 and my three sides are 4, 5, and 7. It really does not matter which one is a, b, or c, all right, as long as you subtract them all. So my area is going to be equal to the square root of, I've got to take it times the 8, and then let's just go in order. Let's go 8 minus 4, and then let's go 8 minus 5, and then 8 minus 7. All right, at this point, um, you could go ahead and simplify that a little bit there. We're going to have, what, an 8 times a 4 times a 3 times a 1. All right, multiplying all that out, probably going to use a calculator at that point. You're going to get square root of 96. All right, you can either simplify that square root or um, use a calculator to get the decimals. For that, as a decimal approximation, this is going to be like 9.798. All right, since the sides are not labeled in this example, but yet I am finding area, I would probably go ahead and label it units squared just so that the person can tell that that value actually is an area value. Um, so one example, because this is really just a straightforward formula, the, the key is you have to know the formula when you're given those three sides if you are trying to find the area. So definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.